Okay, this is Bonnie Rambachan, the director and the writer of the uh, cosplay the series. The first question from Edwin and Olivia. Okay, Bonnie, when did the crazy idea to th make CTS come up? And how did you get this idea actually? The original idea for cosplay the series started probably about last year when I visited Bandung and so on and I thought that cosplay would be an excellent um, what is it? An excellent topic to create into web series because you know of all of the dynamics of the community and so on. So I really love uh, how they how it played out. Really, and the questions from Pinky and Jani: How many episodes will be, and will there be a season two? Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you, Pinky. Pinky is actually one of the most popular cosplayer in Indonesia. She's a good friend of mine, and thank you for asking the question. There will be nine episodes for season one, and we're planning on another nine episodes for season two. So, what will you do this if it gets international? The CDS. I'm really, really thankful with how it turned out. On um, our Facebook fan base is now spread spread over across like 32 countries, which is really, really amazing, and we hope to continue that. And that's why I'm doing this entire thing in English and that's why we're writing things in English, although you'll see subtitles and so on. Is that we're really planning to market this internationally. How if then it's uh, flunked your project soon? What will you do if the series flunked? Um, I think we're, we're still, you know, regardless of how it turns out, with this, it's been an amazing experience. Especially with you guys, with all of you who's participated, at least in, in the form of, you know, submitting your questions or interacting with us on Facebook or, you know, greeting us on events and our appearances. We're really, really glad of how this turned out, and regardless if it's uh, if it flunks or not, I think we're already achieving something. Hopefully, it's gonna be a big success, and we're just gonna hope for the best. But if it's flunks, at least we have we'll have already have an amazing experience, and we we'll, can learn a lot of lessons. How did you select the actors that would make the cos cosplay the series success? Then? Well, first of all, I, I went and did this project with a couple of my cosplayer friends in Bandung, and I wrote the story, right? So I wrote a story and then I made up the characters. Basically, I threw out the script to my friends, in, to our cosplayer friends in Bandung, and they, they sort of said that, hey, I want to play this part, or they selected a, uh, several people to, hey, I think this person will suit to play this part and so on. And yes, there was a casting process. Sometimes I write a story and then they come up and wanted to play the part. Sometimes they suggest a part for them to play and I like it. And I think it will be uh, a, a good addition to the series. So I write, I add the character to the script. Uh, there is a question from she actually about the production and how long did the filming take and what were the obstacles actually? Okay, uh, so we shot nine episodes, the entire nine episodes, in seven days. It was a very efficient filming process that only took about a week. The entire season was shot, uh, this time was shot in Bandung. So uh, yeah, some of it were in Bandung and others took place in Jihanjuang, which is pretty near Bandung. So. And, and also our associate producer, uh, Aussie, she helped a lot with, with, the, uh, with, the, with the venues actually, so yeah. Okay, finish the production thing. So now it comes to the cultural thing. There is Catherine actually asked the questions. Um, how difficult is it to make cosplay into a more serious art form? All right, thank you, Catherine. Catherine is my friend. She's a cultural. She's a cos actually a cosplay researcher from Hong Kong, and she she came to Bandung and met the 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 actors once. And thank you for the question. Uh, how difficult is it to make cosplay into a more serious art form? I think it's really really challenging, especially because most you know the general public doesn't exactly know yet about cosplay if I go out with this costume to a mall they'll think I'm a clown or something right but also you know I think what we're trying to do with this series is we're trying to leverage cosplay into into this not maybe not exactly a higher art form if you can say but maybe more like you know we're exploring the the potential of cosplay as okay what does the series tell us about the radical Indonesian youth col culture then I've had friends saying that you know that's really relevant to how I feel right now and I think those are really really you know great things to tell about the audience We're, and I'm really glad as a screenwriter that I could do that that I could uh, you know tell about the issues that are relevant to the cosplayers today how do you handle legal stuff aren't any of these third-party materials or something yeah, we've had we've had we've actually had that question before. A lot of people were wondering how 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 is it legal to do cosplay and anime parodies and to make it out into this into the into content business or industry. I believe and, and I've read about fair use policy and creative commons and stuff that parodies is actually allowed in the uh, in the 
it's not it's not counted as a copyright infringement you know i can i can tell you about one hour of this thing but yeah uh, we're basically using creative commons and fair use policy and we're releasing the we're releasing the series in creative commons which means that you can all you can all you're all free to download it to share it to your friends and just do whatever you want with it as long as you don't you don't uh, you don't make a profit out of it and you don't claim it yours. So yeah, we're really uh, progressive in the sense of this copyright thing and yeah. Uh, that's if this case is closed then. Now she asked about the soundtrack. So, Do you have your own soundtrack about the CDS? Um, yeah, well if you notice in, in the first trailer we're using a couple of soundtracks from uh, a lot of different movies. But as I said before, those are within the context of uh, par uh, yeah, parody, so that's protected, that's, that's fair use basically. And in the series itself we're using you know, a lot of 90 to 100% of the music we're using as our own. So we, uh, yeah, we have a team of musicians uh, working with us to make, you know, to make our own original soundtrack. So, Look forward to it. We're gonna. We're probably gonna release yeah. a couple of songs in our Facebook page. So if you haven't joined, please join it, and you can listen to the soundtracks when it comes out. So probably this is the last question. Probably I don't really know you. All of you want to deliver this question. So, but the participation that so many folks ask this question. Me too, actually. That how can I join them? Oh yes, that's an interesting question. I, I've got this from a lot of different people, and you know what? Quite strangely, none of them really wrote this down in our in our Facebook fan page. Maybe because they're shy, I don't know. But yes, I'd like to tell you all, you know, happily that I, we're we're really planning this series to be open that people can participate. How exactly? Uh, we don't really have a clear answer to that yet, but when we do have an open call for casting or similar stuff, we're going to be sure to notify it on our Facebook page. And you know, please stay tuned and maybe you can participate in it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Trust me. It's going to be really fun. Yes. Okay, that's it. The cosplay the series on YouTube. Just watch it. Yes, that's it.